So it's early morning and we're off this morning on a hike up to find the ancient ruins of Castabara. The junction. This is the Kemer Saklikent uh, road junction. So we're heading towards Saklikent now on that road, and we're just going to get our last supplies of water ready for uh, for the hiking and a couple of cakes, of course. We're on the Saklikent road heading towards Saklikent, and the first big bridge that you come to—that's this one. You have to take a left turn and head for a place called Derekui. Because Castabara is difficult to find, I'm going to give directions of how to get there. You get a stunning view of Kemer on the way up. And the first junction you come to, you must head for Derekui. So when you get to Derriku, the road gets a bit narrower and a bit bumpier and eventually the asphalt disappears. But wow, isn't it lovely? Beautiful, isn't it? Never ceases to amaze me how beautiful Turkey is. So after the stream and the small bridge, you have to take a very sharp right turn to Boyle. So you'll come across some taps with fresh water and a little kush, which is the wooden platform. And, and the next sign and a right turn is Purnaz Malisi. If you think you're lost and you speak a bit of Turkish, you can always ask the locals. Just ask them for Antique Kent Nerde. At this point, you get a beautiful view of where we're heading. You'll see a sign for the Dermen, which is actually the mill. This is not the right road. Don't take that turn off. Although, if you do go down there, about half a mile is actually a beautiful spot for a picnic. So finally, if you're on the right road, you should see this little kirsch, which is the platform next to the big tree. You'll see a water hydrant on the side of the road and you'll pass a graveyard. Then just up the road from there, as you go past the tiny little village, you come to this gate. Park your car near to this gate and opposite the gate is the track road that you have to follow. Of course, if you're lucky, you might see one of the villagers that will give you some directions, some fruit and offer you a cup of tea. So it's been about 20 years since I've been here and uh, it's, it's quite interesting that the road has changed completely and they've now got a road that goes up to Purnazyaylasi and Jemalalan. But uh, so the old road that I knew doesn't exist anymore and luckily saw this guy called Sally who pointed us in the right direction of the old road and the old what they call patika because patika is like a walking track okay and um, and here it is in my background okay so and he's invited us back for tea when we've finished our walk which is very nice of him That's the last fresh water. Nice that someone's left it. I'll just 
peel the cup off so it don't blow away. <laughs> well, the air is a bit thin up here, isn't it? <laughs> And finally, after about a 40 minute hike up quite a steep slope, we find some evidence of an ancient civilization. Welcome to the ancient ruins of Castabara. So these are the ruins of Castabara. There's not much known about Castabara. Uh, local people say things about it used to be the toll to go over to Gumbe, but no one really knows. The stones are probably about 2,000 years old, and there are sarcophagi which probably date back to the Lycian period, which is 3,000 to 4,000 years ago. So uh, there's been people living up here for a long long time there's no water up here so maybe that's the reason they left the settlement but there is water on Purnaz Yailasa so that's where we're going to go next So this is what the mountain air does for you. So this is the obviously the ancient path that used to take them to what is now Poor Naz Yailasa. So uh, we're taking the old train. Well, yeah. is it safe? Yes. And then you get your first sign of water. Welcome to the Garden of Eden. Probably the best part of the day when you take your boots off. Mm -hmm. And that is what hiking in Turkey 
is all about. <laughs>